you're going to need a piece of paper and some dotting tools. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can use a toothpick with the end cut off. Some white nail polish and green nail polish. I didn't have the right color for frames and fans, so I mixed two together. Fix that nail polish and a black nail polish. And some fancy gemstones if you feel like. And some tweezers. Dot some black nail polish on your piece of paper. I'm missing the top off of my nail polish and it drives me nuts. Uh, first I'm going to add some black just at my cuticle and that's going to be the start of Frankenstein's hair. And then I'm going to take my dotting tool and just make little raggedy pieces. He doesn't have fancy hair, you're just kind of making a little fringe. Kind of reminds of a bowl cut my mom used to give us kids. Thanks mom. It's easier to clean up that edge if it's wet, so go ahead and just try and clean it up. It's also handy to have some nail polish remover on hand with a small brush, and I'm just going to run that around my cuticle to clean it up. You're going to add black eyeballs, and you're running a line across the bottom, and then you're going to put some stitches through his mouth, because his mouth was sewn on to his face. Now take some white nail polish and your dabby tool and you're going to make some white eyeballs on top of your black eyeball. Just like that. Then you're going to put black eyeballs off camera so nobody can see what you're doing on top of the white eyeballs. I decided I wanted longer stitches so I'm just going back and fixing that and making them extra gruesome and scary. Hello Frankenstein! That's basically all you need to do. Pretty easy, huh? Well, I decide to be extra crafty. If you have orange nail polish, you can make a jack-o'-lantern. I didn't think it turned out that good, so I didn't make a special video just for this one. I actually would go back and use my toothpick because it would make better edges. That was part of my problem. And then you just made a little mouthpiece, kind of like a big smile. And then two triangles for your jack o lantern and eyes. And you let that dry for a little bit. If you're bored, you can put some gems on your other nails or put it on Frankenstein's eyes. And then I just dab orange for where the teeth are on my jack o' lantern. And he's basically done. Remember to put on your top coat once these puppies dry a little bit. 